The thing about the deadlift is I just get such a rush out of doing them. After each set, I just feel so good that uh, it, it's really hard to explain. If you've done these before and you enjoy deadlifts, you'll know what I'm talking about. You may have Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 Plus Fitness Journey. Okay, for today's episode, I am going to bring you yet another deadlift session. Now, I have no intention of turning this into the 60 plus deadlift channel, but uh, I do like to talk about the deadlift because I find a lot of value and benefit in uh, the deadlift as well as other strength movements like squats, bench presses, heavy barbell rows, overhead presses, things like that. Uh, but if you've been around here, around me, around this channel, you'll know that lately, the last year, two years or more probably, I've been focusing on the squats, deadlifts, deadlifts, and most recently uh, bench presses. But my favorite by far is the deadlift. And there is no real specific reason um, because the squat and the deadlift, for example, are both excellent movements, compound movements, meaning they engage a lot of muscle mass in one movement. A lot of muscles engaged in squats, quads, glutes, hamstrings, back, uh, hip flexors, calves, deadlift the same way. It's, uh, you're engaging your glutes, your hamstrings, your back, your grip even, just a lot of uh, a lot of muscle mass is engaged in a single a single movement pattern, and it just so happens I enjoy deadlifting. It's my best lift, so that probably plays into it quite a bit. And when I was younger, um, you know, in the, you know, I was you know early twenties. You know, this is like in the early nineteen eighties. When I was competitively powerlifting, my squat was my thing. That was my that was my uh, jam, as they'd say. I I, I loved squatting and uh, didn't do a lot of deadlifting. So my squat was always better than my deadlift. These days, that has certainly swapped. My deadlift is way better than my squat. Um, I'm working on my squat, trying to redevelop uh, <laughs> my my uh, old love of the squat. It's slowly getting better. Um, but I still find value in squatting. But the deadlift is my favorite. It's, uh, you know, it replicates a normal human movement pattern, bending over, picking up heavy things, just like a squat. You know, that's a regular uh, human movement pattern. Um, but the deadlift, I, I, I just, um, just the endorphin rush of this, the the weight that I get to move uh, with this. Now, this is not extraordinarily heavy weight. Um, there are certainly a lot of other folks out there that can lift a lot more than me in a deadlift. But for a 64-year-old guy, I'm doing pretty good. And, and uh, I feel good after. Um, I'm not afraid of the deadlift. A lot of people will say, and you've heard them say, that lifting heavy weights for older folks, or older folks lifting heavy weights is detrimental. It's anathema to <laughs> older folks staying healthy. Um, now, if you know me, I'm, I'm a, a completely opposite opinion there. I think we need to maintain our strength and maintain our muscle mass and maintain our bone density and bone health, all of those things. I've talked about this many times before. We want to be strong and um, doing strength movements, compound movements, like the squat and the deadlift are the way to go. And I, the way I do this is um, progressive overload. Talked about this many times as well too. Um, in my case, I do three sets of five reps. So it's low volume, you know, three sets, five reps, but it's very high intensity. A lot of warming up to get there, but those three sets of five reps are very intense. And it's the same with squats. It's a low volume, high intensity. But the thing about the deadlift is I just get such a rush out of doing them. 
after each set, I just feel so good that uh, it, it's really hard to explain. If you've done these before and you enjoy deadlifts, you'll know what I'm talking about. You may have the same feeling doing squats or overhead presses. But, um, you know, and that's part of the secret of a good workout program is, is, is finding out whatever your workout program happens, happens to be, the secret to it, I believe, is finding something you enjoy, something that you will do over a long term that, uh, you know, you, you, you can, with persistence and discipline, uh, get better and better at, thus, you know, improving your health and fitness and strength. And uh, this is one of those things I've found is deadlifting. As I've said, <laughs> I, I like all of my workouts. I love all of my all of my workouts and uh but my my favorite by far is the deadlift day for sure so i would encourage you to try deadlifting if you haven't give it a go but before you do learn how to do it um like i said i i'm not here this channel is not not here to instruct anyone in particular about how to do a specific movement that's more as better suited for one-on-one -on -one coaching um, there are a myriad of resources out there to learn how to do a deadlift. I would encourage you to check those out and uh, try some deadlifting. I think you will find that it is one of the most fulfilling strength training movements you can do. You get a lot of benefit out of it. And uh, again, it's just it's, it's got all the attributes of, uh, of a good compound movement. Um, Anyway, I had a great session today. This is one I did with my friend Howard. I showed you uh, his portion of this uh, workout in my previous video, which I'll link up here in the corner. Um, he's 70 years old. He is tearing it up. And uh, he just recently started doing strength training with me. And oddly enough, his favorite is the squat. Now, how many people do you hear or know of that say they love squats? And that is his favorite day. He absolutely lives for squat day. There you go. It's perfect. And uh, he's 70 years old, picked it up, and is rolling with it. So, <laughs> squat. Try squats. Try deadlifts. But don't let don't let um, anyone scare you away from it. Uh, it being strength training. Just go into it cautiously, judiciously. Learn how to do the movements. But you'll find there's an enormous benefit from strength training for older older folks. Um, I guess that's about it for today's ramble. Uh, deadlifts, cool. Today's deadlift session, awesome. Well on my way to my goal of a 450-pound deadlift by the end of this year. Hope to meet it by the end of this summer. Um, much, much more to follow. Uh, on this uh, on this uh, 60 plus fitness journey and um, I'm including my new workout partner and friend Howard in this uh, we're both uh, doing this to share with folks out there just to show what can be done for and by older folks men and women so that's it for today more to follow if you do me the favor of hitting that like button, that'd be awesome. If you haven't already, consider clicking that subscribe button. Love to have you here. And with that, I'll say, till next time, go get them. Mark out.